The Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2022 goes to Barry Sharpless, Morten Meldahl and Carolyn Bertosi for their conceptualization and development of the so-called click chemistry and bioorthogonal transformations. The term click chemistry was coined in 2001 by Barry Sharpless when he and two co-authors in a scientific publication proposed that organic chemistry would benefit from having more robust and simple methods for connecting two organic molecules together. The idea was that these reactions would be so selective that they would hardly form any byproducts and that they would be so robust that they could be carried out in the presence of air and in the presence of water. Effectively, these reactions were supposed to be so straightforward that it would be like clicking two molecules together, hence the term click chemistry. One of the transformations that were highlighted as potential candidates for this type of transformations was cycloadditions, where two molecules are joined together to form a cyclic structure. That same year, in 2001, Morten Meldahl and his colleagues were working on synthesizing a library of compounds that were to be assessed for their pharmaceutical activity. As part of this work, they found something unexpected. In the presence of copper ion, an azide and an alkyne would join together in a very selective manner, forming only one type of product, an triazole. At the same time, and independent of Meldahl's work, Barry Sharpless and his team were also investigating the same type of transformation and found that it was very selective and also robust. It would take place both in the presence of oxygen and water, and it would also be insensitive to the type of structural features that both the A-side and the alkyne would have as they form the linkage. This highly useful and very practical reaction gained a lot of attention very rapidly and found use in a wide variety of areas such as pharmaceutical synthesis and the synthesis of uh, functional materials. So actually, it was known already before 2001 that azides and alkynes could join together in, to form a cyclic product in the absence of copper ions. However, in this absence of the copper, this reaction would be very slow and also unselective. However, it had been previously found that there were certain types of alkynes with a very strained ring structure that could react reasonably well. And this is something that Carolyn Bertosi made use of. In 2004, Bertosi and her team developed the strain promoted azide alkyne cycloaddition that didn't have to use this copper that was toxic for biological systems that they wanted to study. This reaction became an important contribution to the toolbox that Bertosi had already started to develop and that she called bioorthogonal transformations, meaning transformations and reactions that are so selective that they can occur under physiological conditions, meaning in cells or even in living organisms without interacting with anything else in these really rich and complex environments. The strain promoted azide alkyne cycloaddition has, among other things, been used to study how biomolecules interact with each other, as well as to explore and suppress different processes that can lead to disease, such as cancer.